guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are gonna talk about what I'm bringing with me on my cross stitch retreat and my trip to London. Like what crafty business I am bringing with me. Um, so this is a floss tube video where we're gonna talk about needle crafts, but crafts in general. And I just wanted to kind of go through all the things with you that I've been working on and what I'm packing. Now, life's been a little busy, so I haven't gotten too much crafting done, but I have been working on this blanket. It is a scrappy blanket. I started this years ago, and it's a crochet I'm doing, and it's corner to corner. So it started here in this little corner, and it's got this wide. So I'm almost as wide as I want it going to be like a lap blanket. Let me see if I can fold it in half and give you a better indicator. So it's double this wide. And then I may um, turn the corner here and start working it upward. But each one of this, the yarns in here is sock weight or fingering weight yarn. And it's all, I'm pretty sure it's all wool. And it's scraps that were left over from different projects. So anytime I do a sock yarn project, it goes in here. And then when I have a fair amount, I make what's called a magic ball. So right now we're working on some, I think this is Felici, some blue and white. And then there's all different colors. Like in here, you'll see a little bit of red. So I wind it, wind it, wind it. And when I have that done, I magic knot the next color, wind it, wind it, wind it. So this is what I'm working with now. And it is a crochet hook. I'm using an E 3.5 millimeter. This works good for sock yarn if anybody wants to do this blanket. So like, I won't use all of that, but this is just some scraps. I have some greens here. Uh, that's some self-striping. Now, um, so is that. S crochet blankets eat up a lot of yarn, which is not a terrible thing, but uh, they go quick too. Ever, you know, a lot of people were doing the granny squares, but I liked this corner to corner. And I love all of the different fun colors and it's just like a crazy blanket. So I have been putting rows on that and the rows are pretty long. So usually when I'm watching TV, um, if I'm not cross stitching, I, I'll work on that. Um, I made a little bag out of some Halloween fabric I got at Joanne. Um, and I made this a flat bottom bag and I have a little uh, some charms on here. I have a black cat and this is a witch's cauldron. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. A little cauldron and a cat. So this is what I want to carry with me on board. And if I'm sitting around and I'm done needleworking, I can, I can do some knitting. Um, I just put the black on the inside. There's some tissue in here and I have some more sock yarn. Um, I think I've shown you before, but if not, I'll definitely show you the finished product. But I'm knitting, this is little tiny socks. I mean like tiny, this is the, the leg of the little sock. Right now I'm working on the heel flap. Um, when I am done knitting this, I will stuff it with catnip. My brother has some kittens and his cats need some toys. Also some of my coworkers. So I brought, some of these, these are called bonbons. And this is opal. I have two of these advent calendars. So I have a lot of these little opal bonbons. They're just, I think it's a gram or two, 15 grams. They're 15 grams each and I can get several of those little socks or mittens out of that. And then I also am knitting human size socks, so. I started my socks. This is some um, Felici yarn from Knit Picks. Um, and I got the cuffs done and I'm just working down the leg. And this is self-striping as well. And this color is called uh, Felici Punch Bug. 
is the name of the color. I bought this a long time ago on Knit Picks. It's just some self-striping yarn. And then I brought some little notions. I needed some pins if I'm doing mittens, stitch marker, stuff like that. So these are my two knitting. I wouldn't be able to cross stitch on the airplane, but I can knit socks. So um, that's what this little bag is. And I love it. I love the fabric. I made a bigger bag too. I'll show you in a second. And then I just put the gray zipper and I did a three inch box bottom, I think. Two inch or three? I think it's three. Two. Two inch box bottoms on these so that it would open nice and wide. So I made that. And that's about it for the crafting that I've been doing. I've been working a whole heck of a lot. But I got my luggage down here. I've already started packing. So I wanted to go over with you what I will be bringing to the retreat. So I thought that would be helpful. People always ask, well, what do you take? What do you bring? I don't, I, I mean, I'm not a pro at this. This is only my second retreat, but I think I've got it. So I made this a while ago. Um, on here, I have a bee charm, and then this is a needle threader in case I need it. So it does two different size needles, and these don't break as easy. But I did make this a while ago, and I'm totally bringing it with me because it holds ah, all the things that I need. And I'll take you on a little tour. So over here, I have a pocket with some scissors. I have a chapstick because who doesn't need Burt's Bees? Um, oh, get back in there. Shoot. I have, put that back, okay. Um, so I'm, black hat tweezers. These are great for grabbing little pieces of floss. Um, I have a little tiny seam ripper, great for travel. I have a highlighter. I like the clicky ones that have like the net click on there. And I use these for my patterns. Um, oh, and then over here I have this needle book and this just has all different size sewing needles, not necessarily stitching needles, but it, I just keep them in here. And then over here, these scissors need a better place. Over here, I have three different brands of size 26 cross stitch needle embroidery needle. I have Bowen, John James, and Peacemakers. I wanted to try the Peacemakers. So far, I've liked the Bowen and the John James. Um, they're just different brands. You can use DMC. This is a corner gauge, so if I start a new project, I can stick a needle in one of those holes and it will give me a one and a half inch, three inch, a one and a half, or I'm sorry, one and a half inch, two inch, or two and a half inch corner seam on that. And I got this at Stitch North and Pastime Pieces gave us these. These are great for all kinds, knitting, crocheting, sewing, they're great. So I have that. Um, I do have my Stitch North needle minder. I have this one. It's a black cat reading a book and the book is called World Domination for Cats. Uh, I have a coffee cup and another black cat. And I will probably bring a couple others. And I don't have anything up in the top pocket here. And that's everything that I will need notion wise um, for stitching. So, and it all just kind of keeps it tidy. Oops, unless I go throwing things like I just did. Oh, and these are a size 28 needle and they are an easy glide, easy, easy guide ball tip needle by Sullivan's and they have a ball tip. I haven't tried them yet, but I need to. So this little notions pouch of mine will go in my luggage. It'll, it's all gonna go in a bag. But it keep, it's nice and zippered and it keeps everything handy. So I have that with all of the notions. I am bringing, this is an 11 inch by 11 inch Q-snap. So it actually will come apart if I want it to, but I'm not sure. I think it'll fit in my luggage in one piece. However, I don't want it to break, so I may take it apart and stick it in like, I mean, it will come completely apart. Well, you would, um, and stick it in like a bag or stick it down in the side so it doesn't break. 
but I definitely want to bring my Q-snap. I prefer these because it holds the fabric very taut. And then I'm bringing, which is in my luggage, and I'm not going to take it out, a light. It is a rechargeable light and magnifier. So that works for me because um, I'm blind. That's how it rolls. I need a light and a magnifier. And then I decided I'm going to bring, this is my uh, K's Creation lap stand. I got this on Etsy. I know they're still selling them. Um, there is an extra arm here that would bring this up higher, but I have found that I don't need it up quite that high because of my vision. But the nice thing about this, and I'm just going to show you, is it comes apart. So it will lay flat again in my luggage, in my suitcase, and then, um, I will just, I'm just unscrewing pieces here because what I would really prefer is to have everything tightened down and then I can just tuck it in uh, my luggage. I will tell you if you get a case creation on Etsy, not sponsored, I bought these myself. Um, this piece of mine broke and this is a replacement. So that was nice. But I like that it, um, I'm just taking off the side piece here. You can get these stained or unstained. I got mine stained. Um, but you see here, like, I, I'll put these all in a zip bag, all these pieces, so I don't lose anything while I'm traveling. But the beauty is this will lay flat, and then these little pieces create the whole stand so it's super easy to travel with and it's not heavy at all so I will probably put all these pieces in one zip bag so that when I need to um, put it together everything will be together so I'm taking that and then I just have some projects and I haven't 100% decided yet but I will show you some options this bag is 100% going it's my Queen Elizabeth bag from the Platinum Jubilee I have a crown charm. I have a teacup and tea pot. Over here, I have the Canadian platinum or the, what was this, diamond? Platinum? Platinum. This is the Canadian platinum jubilee pin. This was the UK pin. And then this also came from the UK. And the fabric I ordered from the UK. So the outside is all London and on the inside are crowns. And in here, I have this. I'm not bringing this project, but I think I will bring this little um, hoop because it's small and lightweight. And if I don't use my stand, I can use that. And I don't know if I want to bring this to work on or not. And then I also won this off of Stitching Mommy. If you're watching, thank you, which I doubt you are, but if you are, so I won this in a giveaway on the Stitching Mommy, and I love this. It will get stitched this Christmas, but maybe not on my trip. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm bringing. I doubt I'm, I mean, I might bring this little tiny thing to work on. This is just a little Halloween pattern. Oops, that's that girl. Yeah, no, that's right. Just says October 31st on it. I might bring it. I don't know. But this is, this bag is definitely going. And this is the bag that I made. So it's the same fabric. I just accented it with some black on the bottom. It is also, I have a cobweb and a spider zipper pull. It is lined in black, which I will tell you is not ideal, but I just wanted it to be that way. And I believe I am bringing this because I want to work on it. And this is Lila Studios Nevermore. And I am, you know, I'm a fair bit along with this. I will show you where I'm at. And I don't remember all the details on this, but I'm pretty sure this is 32 count fabric. So this is where I'm at on it. Uh, almost halfway done, really. I just have a few more things um, that go in here. 
So I am on the picture, the crow is done. That motif is done, that's done. So I need the words over here, this here. I mean, it's about half done, I think. So I love it. I really love it. And I love the big bird. I am so happy. I did it in a color that's like a blue black. And let me tell you, that boy bird took up some floss but I love him. So I have, I, I'm bringing this to work on, I'm pretty sure. Whether I get it worked on or not, who knows, but. And I have all my floss for it in here. And it's already strung up and cut and ready to work. And then any extra flosses I still have in here. So there's a lot of repeat colors. But there was a couple things that I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to use the colors that it was called for. So let's make sure. And I also have all of my photocopied pattern. I have, let me see what month this is for. Okay. So I have this um, silks for you that was gifted to me and I'm bringing that because I think that's gonna make its way in there. I just haven't used it since then. I also have this color. This is an anchor color and it is, oh, it's number 72. They don't give them names, they give them numbers, but I love this burgundy. If you haven't used anchor, it is six stranded cotton floss by Coates and Clark. So it's like a DMC. Um, but it's on a spool. Yeah, just different. So I have some things I haven't decided 100% what colors I want to make them. I mean, obviously, like, that border is done and the things that are complete. But I have other motifs like that. That is the anchor that I use there. And I have this teal color here. I just love it. I love all the colors. This is Lagoon. And I think this is chalkboard maybe I don't know but so you know I'm part of the Leo and Roxy Floss Co um, uh, Floss of the Month so this one was for September and look at those colors I love that it's like a marigold I don't know what they're called I'm not pulling them out just yet but we have some burgundy brown like a salmony cream, it's very neutral. I'm on the neutrals club. So I'm bringing those. And then this was um, October. Oh, I love it. Look at that pine green. I am obsessed with these four, five. One, two, three, five colors. So I am bringing these with me because I may choose to use them. I may choose not to use them. I don't know, but I want to work on that. So this one is 100% coming with me. And this one here is also 100% coming. I think the question I'm going to have is if I'm going to bring a small one. Um, this is my Caroline Evertotes bag. I'm not sure if this bag will make the cut. I'm definitely bringing my queen bag. So we'll make that decision later. But what is in here which I have been working on is my modern folk embroidery. I am no bird and it's the Jane Eyre. And it says, I am no bird and no net ensnares me. I am a free human being with an independent will, Jane Eyre. And this is a gift for somebody. So I really need to get it done before Christmas. And I will show you where I'm at. And let's please look at the fact that my corners lined up, shall we? the heck the color floss is inappropriate by leo and roxy floss co and the fabric is peanut brittle by leo and roxy floss co have we noticed a theme here guys i love leo and roxy floss co so my corner lined up sort of i am off by one stitch and the recipient will not know nor will the recipient care so i'm not going to worry about it it's just going to be this little bit right here is off when I put this single band, the single row in, it's just off by one stitch, one thread, but it's okay. So on here, it doesn't look like it, but 
I have this massive house. Let's do this. I have this house to finish, which is a fair amount. So I have that I need to do the roof in the middle and finish this side. And then this house is done. So then I just have words. And words do not take long. And then I have the two birds and the two medallions. So I'm really pretty far along. I think while I'm at the retreat, if I can get this border completely done and a good fair amount on the house, I will be a way ahead of the game. And the good thing about this house, I'm trying to get it so I can show you and stop flopping it around, is it's pretty intuitive. So it's a lot of just back and forth. So I feel like I could get this house done at the retreat if I focused and not talk so much, but we'll see. I mean, those are goals, who knows? So I don't feel like I need to bring a small project because I really wanna get this done. I need to get it framed for Christmas. So I have that. And then in here in a Evertote container, I have the floss, which I really hope I have enough floss. I only have three left, plus some a little bit here. And I've already gone through three whole skeins. So this is 24 yards of floss. I've already gone through almost 32. I mean, this is very, no, this only just has a little left, but it's just the house and then the words. So I should be okay. And I'm hoping I have a little extra because I love this red. I love red. So this is definitely coming with me for sure because it's a gift, like I said, and I need to get it framed for Christmas, I'm hoping. And then I have my queen little stitch marker. And then these are uh, little magnets that I use to hold my fabric. So I think... If I'm being completely fair, I should just bring two large projects and this little project and leave the other big stuff here. Plus we're gift we're being gifted projects when we get there and all of that. So I think this and this in here, right? This little October 31, just if I want something little to work on, I have that, which is my floss. This is my project. Sorry, I didn't iron it for you. And then in here are my photocopies that I work from. So there's that. And I think, I think that should be enough. I mean, it's only two days, two and a half days. I'm probably going to talk more than I do anything because that's how I roll in life. So I feel like if I brought these two projects, like that should be enough. And leave these projects home. Oh, and my little knitting, my little knitting stuff with me, I think. And I can get it into my travel pro suitcase which is kind of small but it's only 36 pounds right now and this is probably five pounds so i should be well under 40 pounds and if i don't think that all of this will fit in my luggage i can carry this i can carry it on with me in a bag and put all of my stitching together and just use it as a carry-on with my backpack oh and i didn't show you something else i bought if you didn't see my haul, I am obsessed with these little stitching kits. I'll show you what it comes with. Okay, it's, I guess I'm a bad sti cross stitcher, but I don't care. It comes with this little book. I'm dying. And these little like patterns, a muck, a muck, a muck. So you get in here, a muck, a muck, a muck. The broom, the mop and the vacuum. I just wish it was a black cat. The three heads, you know, the hair. And I put a spell on you. And you see, so you get four patterns. You get four pieces of fab of Ada, but I think I'll do my own Ada. Some needles, but look at this floss. And it says, focus, focus on it. I love it. So 
I got that. Now I may choose to use difference. Oh, and look at this tiny little hoop. I'm not bringing this with me, um, but I'm kind of obsessed with it. I love these little kits. I have the one that says Pusheen for the cat. And I don't know if I'm going to use the Hocus Pocus floss. I don't really like that neon orange and I don't, they're kind of bright. So I might substitute some of my own floss, but I'm not doing it right now. I haven't done the Pusheen yet either, which is the cat, but oh my God, I love it. And these kits are regularly $9.99, like if you order on Amazon, but I got this at Marshall's for $5.99 and I just love it. So I have that and that is my crafty that I've been able to work on um, in between working my day job and my part-time job. And I have hair issues, guys. I gotta get some more hair clippies. Uh, so that is everything. Say hi to Alex. Oh, I got you a little book. Oh, I got you. Say hey, hey, hi. He's like, um, I need you to put me down, lady. Uh, and Wellington is, well, I can show you Wellington. He's feeling better. He was at the vet. Wellington. He's not hearing yet. He doesn't hear. He has um, two bacteria infections in his ear. So he's on some medication. Hopefully it brings his hearing back. If not, he's 15, 14. I mean, I'll be sad, but he's still living a good life. So there's that. So I hope you enjoy. This is everything I'm taking cross-stitch wise on my trip to London and I will talk with you later. Bye.